Oh well, uh, this is just a little talk, I guess, uh, concerning Windows 8 and gaming. Uh, I've just been doing some uh, searching around, and I looked at the game store. The where would I go here? I'm referring to games here, Xbox games. And for example, there's uh this one seems pretty good. Explore game. And I click play. No apps installed to open this type of link. I'm not sure what that means, but you have to go to the store to get it. So now I have to go into another application. And the reviews uh I looked at them look pretty kinda cool. Ten bucks to buy it. I guess you get to try it for I don't know how long. Um, one said uh, you can use an Xbox 360 controller. Now, I'm talking about games for the PC, uh, desktop PC, not the uh, not a tablet, basically. So um, I did a search for game catcher and like uh, for apps. I didn't see anything here, but this one got my attention. Uh, Roxio Game Capture HD Pro. No reviews. Details. High performance PC. And you can use an Xbox 360, PS3, and the Wii. So, whatever. Ah, problem. Not a problem, sorry. Uh, is I can't purchase this from the store. I have to go to the publisher's website. And yeah, 149. So 150 bucks. I guess it's worth it if you're, you know, in into capturing. There's probably a lot of stuff. I don't really know too much about this, but no, that wouldn't be for something I'd be interested in. Uh, so, all right, fine. I'm not. There's not much here in in the way of uh, what I'd be interesting interested in. Some stuff, yeah, maybe just for fun, but I'm talking PC games again, not uh, little puzzle games or anything. So let's go to Steam. Now well, here's here's the an interesting thing is uh didn't uh, wasn't there some comments about uh, Windows 8 being a threat to Steam? Okay, so let's go to the store. And install Steam. Okay. Scroll down here for system requirements. Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, and a Mac. And you can also get it on Linux as well. Okay, so no mention of Windows 8. I don't know what that has to be. Is it because it hasn't been updated yet or some other reason? So I'll close this. Now, um... Here's one app I found. This is an app, it, Windows app. Okay. Pin Steam. Yes, these are the games that I own on Steam. Hmm. Clicking on any one of these will open Steam. And either ask me to download it because I haven't have don't have it installed. Or to run, to play it. So we'll close that down. Uh, let's do a search for, search for there it is Steam. Okay, it's Windows 8, Steam launching, and uh, there it is. There. Okay, there's my library again, which we saw on the pin Steam. Uh, hey, look, I can buy games. That's weird. Hmm, I thought Windows 8 was uh, a threat. Let me get this straight, okay? Uh, in the Windows Store, I couldn't buy something like this. You know, Aliens or something. Uh, Colonial Marines. Or Sniper Elite. And, uh... So I did another search on the internet because I remember there was a Windows Live or something games for Windows oh there it is live marketplace 
PC games. Hmm. Ah, view all PC games. Ouch. 202 games? That's it? Compared to Steam's thousands or more? <laughs> so again, we're, this is, you know, middle of February. Uh, we're a few months out after the release of Windows 8. The Windows 8 uh, store has gotten more applications. More are added each day. However, I don't see this supposed threat um, that these uh, gaming uh, distributors uh, said it would be to their business. I don't get, I don't understand. Anybody understands? You can tell me. Now, as far as game performance, anything I download from Steam or Gamersgate or even uh, from the marketplace here or Origin or good old games, they all work absolutely fine. I haven't had one problem. Not one. So the complaints about uh, Windows 8. Um, being a threat right now or not, I don't see any reason for it. There's no apparent reason at all. So what what are they talking about? Anybody know? Uh, Windows 8 isn't good for gaming. Well, I got news for you. It's probably the best OS for gaming ever. Um, Maybe Linux, Steam Linux will catch up one day. Like, I, I use Linux as well, but it, it certainly isn't... It's okay, you know, but it's not... Uh, it doesn't have the catalog yet and, you know, the optimizations and the drivers, too. Uh, you know, ATI and NVIDIA are going to put more attention right now into Windows. And uh, the way I see it right now is all these publishers that are complaining, like Blizzard... And Steam pu publishers slash retail sell online sellers is it's a little hypocritical because for all this time previous to Windows 8 having a store built in, which doesn't really have much that I'd be interested in. Some free stuff is nice, but um, previous to that, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP. Uh, Steam and the likes, mostly Steam, have had pretty much a free ride uh, using the Windows operating system to be able to promote their product on Microsoft's product. And now Microsoft releases this, an application store and all of a sudden it's this huge threat and Windows 8 is condemned and I don't see the problem. Um, even if there were a lot of Windows 8 um, not Windows games inside the store, I still don't see the problem because there's a matter of competition between price. I don't see the problem at all. And uh, maybe this is just uh, too anecdotal, but I don't I don't see the the threat anywhere. I really don't. And performance is fine. So anyway, just a little talk on... Uh, some of the misconceptions that are going around the internet concerning Windows 8 and gaming are, to me, they right now they seem unfounded. So, uh, so that's all I got to say. Maybe I said too much. I don't know. Okay, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.